Hi, I'm Pete Cashmore from Mashable. I'm Josh Williams from Gowalla. I'm Adam Rich from Thrillist.com. Hey, I'm Scott Belsky from Behance. I'm David Karp from Tumblr, and you're watching Leap Year. Leap Year. Leap Year. Leap Year. Leap Year. He knows that pregnancies usually last longer than five months, right? It's Aaron. He bought her an emergency labor whistle the moment he found out she was pregnant. Nobody here is going to be fired. I prefer the term release. I think all of you have the capacity to do great things, to be leaders in your industry, which is why I propose a simple contest. At the end of four months, you will each present your individual plans to me. The company I like most will receive $500,000 in funding. We merged our five companies into one company. I'm building a video conferencing platform that uses two webcams along with my hardware in order to create holographic images. It's still a demo, but it should work. I need a guy, an engineer. I need him to finish the demo. Apparently the guy retired a few years ago and lives in some cabin in the woods, and he wants to take the meeting, but we've got to go up to his cabin. The doctor's at any day now. Yeah. Are you scared? Ah! Why am I in a tub? Okay, as the husband, I need you to tell her comforting things. No, seriously, I don't remember why I'm in a tub. Sweetie, you have really, really pretty hair. The energy needs to stay positive, so tell her things like you love her and how beautiful she is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sweetie, you have really nice hair, and it's going to be passed down to our child genetically, and people will appreciate it, though. What the hell are you saying to me right now? No, 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 no it's not working. No, it's not working. Okay. She's yelling at me. Okay, Lisa, I want you to take deep, calm breaths, all right? Okay. Focus on aligning your chakras. Let's align your chakras, sweetie. What the hell are chakras? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's align them. You don't have any drugs? No, you don't Please. need drugs. Natural birth is the most beautiful thing. This isn't beautiful. Rainbows are beautiful. This is an eight pound creature bursting out of my body. Hell, even if it was an eight pound rainbow, I still wouldn't call it beautiful. Oh. Oh. Don't mean to interrupt, but if you just turn the volume down a little bit, it'd be really helpful. You know, some women in Russia would just have the baby in the fields and then back to work, so. Okay, good talk. You okay? Fine, I'm just having contractions. No, nope. Aaron, no pregnancy whistle, it's fine. Okay, because I'm... I know. Okay. Sergey Lenov? No, who's asking? Uh, uh, I'm Derek Morrison. I, I contacted you a few days ago about a project we need help finishing. And uh, from what I've read, you are the best in the business and uh, we would like to hire you. Oh God! Anyone follow you? No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. No. You come in. I'm gonna load up Ivan. Uh, Aaron. Sweetie, you're so close right now. Don't say things like that. You don't know what you're talking about. You're so close, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Aaron? Yeah, sweetie. Run's program. It's video conferencing software, right? Yeah, Lisa, you don't need to worry about that right now. Answer the goddamn question! I need something to focus on! Yes, it's video conferencing software that, that uses holograms. It's like Star Trek. Remember you hate Star Trek? It's like Star Trek. You need to be part of the team pitching it. What? No, Lisa, I'm staying here with you. I'm Everyone not... is pulling their own weight. I want to pull mine. I have an idea. A lot of people think it's stereotypical for a Russian to like vodka this much. I wasn't even born in Russia. But my dad's cure for everything was vodka. Everything. We were very sick kids. So, what's the job? We have a, a web conferencing software that works with two webcams and a small piece of hardware that projects a holographic image. Impressive. <laughs> impossible, but impressive. Not impossible. I almost have enough for a demo. With your help, we could have the first version out in a year. The demo, though, we could finish tonight. I'm retired, guys, but uh, feel free to use my cabin. Come on, Sergey, I mean, we can pay you, too. I'd love to, guys, but, you know, I got the cabin. Ow. And my goats. And my beets. Life, you know? Ow. Oh. Jesus, man. Look, we have money and we've got a great product that we're letting you work on. Don't tell me people have been knocking on your goddamn door for however long you've been here dressed like a crazy communist. 
Look, you invited us here and you wouldn't have if you weren't interested. So let's not do this dance, okay? Either take the job or we're leaving. It's been a really stupid few months. I like this kid. I like your passion, huh? All right, so what do you guys got? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay. I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Car, car, car. What? what is he saying? I can't understand what he's saying. Get the car, get out of the goddamn house! Oh. Oh. Okay, we're done. The main problem though is we don't have a server. I can upload what Sargon and I just did, but in order to run the program, you hey, guys- Hey Jack? Yeah? Look under the desks. Come on. How could we possibly have missed this? Uh, we found it. We'll plug it in. Uh, why was That's a good question, Olivia. Why was the server under the desks? Can we just chalk it up to being a really long story? We're not down here. You ready? Russians are always ready. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess now we wait. Well, we should have known that would happen. I've been on empty for like a week. Sergey, is there a hospital around here? Yes, there's one about half a click away. It's perfect. There's a hospital in the forest? A lot of people don't know this, but a forest birth is one of the most secure births you can have. Big city hospital, pretty much anyone can walk away with your baby. In the forest, you only really have to worry about the wolves. Okay? Okay. Follow me. Guys, what is he supposed to call? Five minutes, supposedly. Jack, Lisa has an idea. Why would people use this technology? Uh, business. But also to connect with loved ones. Never miss a three-dimensional moment with C3D kind of thing. That's what I'm calling it, by the way, C3D. Never miss a moment. Well, I'm still working on the tagline. Yeah, guys, what's a moment in everyone's life? That's... <laughs> okay, Brent, grab your thing. Lisa, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lisa's more brilliant than any of us. Go! We're here. It's here. What is this? This is the hospital. This is not a hospital. This is another cabin in the woods. Are you kidding me? Do you not know what a hospital is? We need a hospital. Yeah, I know what a hospital is. It's a disease-ridden, government-run prison cell used for human experimentation. Okay, so you don't know what a hospital is. You don't need a hospital, not for childbirth. This, this is your future. This is where the beginning of the rest of your life begins. That is the home of a midwife. Who's ready to see childbirth the way it was meant to be? Okay. Let's do this. I immediately regret my decision! It works. Oh my god, it works. Please, please. I hate everything, but it's like we're in the goddamn future. He's talking to her. I hate all of you! It's him, pick it up. You're crowning! <gasps> Push gently like a snowflake! <gasps> Andy Corbell? Hello, boys and girls. What do we pay? Wow. Is that your own boss? Ah! One more push, Lisa. One more push. You're creating life. Ah! Ah! So slimy. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Well, right now I'm thinking of giving your company a half a million dollars for that sweet piece of technology you created. Who wants an explanation? Lisa. She's good. She's with her parents. She told me if I don't leave her alone for a couple hours, she'd attack me with a hammer. So. I don't like her. Me too. What's the plan, Jack? I don't know. Jack? I don't know what the plan is, guys. Our old boss fired us and apparently enrolled us in some bizarre business contest. I don't know what to do with that. We could just take the money. Let's just go in. Oh, hello.
Hello, children. Are we all good then? Excuse me? Are we all good then? None of us know what happened. It's really very simple. I found that the best way to get people to think outside the box is to show them how safe it is in an unboxed world. I've heard each of you talk about starting your own business, but I've never seen any of you do it. So I did it for you. You fired us so we could start our own company? I fired you to show your coworkers what thinking like an entrepreneur could do for you. It was a study in risk taking. Every Friday we'd gather around and we'd talk about your successes and your failures. I called it lessons in entrepreneurship. Now you should be proud. You're, you're all kind of like celebrities around here. How did you know what we were doing? Oh, that's easy. Bryn told me. Bryn? You spied on us? Yeah. I, I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't mean for anybody. All right, now hold on just a second here. You have two options. You can have your old jobs back, or I give you half a million dollars. You get C3D off the ground, with me getting a sizable percentage, of course. We also have another option. We could sue you for wrongful termination. Or you could sue me. It's entirely up to you. You've taken the first step. What happens next?